Hey guys, we're going to do a technique today called a frosted wash. Now I made up the name. I looked and couldn't find anything on how to do this. So I'm going to share it with you today. Liz told me about it and it's really fun. Now you just start with a really wet piece of watercolor paper and then you transfer it to a tray that will fit in your freezer. And I'm using a food storage lid because that fits. Then you just add some really wet washes in either watercolor or acrylic. Yes, acrylic washes work. You don't have to be very careful. You can just spread it around and let it go where it wants to. I'm switching over to a blue and just adding a contrasting color. You can splatter it in. You can add salt. You can um, add additional colors, whatever you want to do here um, when you get it looking the way that you want you take it and you put it in your freezer. Leave it in for about at least 15 minutes up to several hours. The colder your freezer the better. Now what's happening is that it's frozen to your paper so in order to get it off apply a little heat. I was concerned at first that I would lose the texture that I had created but it didn't happen so that was great. So I just heated it up along the edge so that I can lift it up off the tray. Now I'm going to show you some zoomed in pictures on these so you can see the texture um, that happens and the frosting that we get. This is that first one that's wet before I put it in the freezer. You can see I splattered the blue into the yellow, got some green, and you can see that texture on the corners and on the purple and in the green where it's up at the top near the blue. As it froze, it created like frost across the page. It's really neat. I love that one. It's really interesting, kind of like when you're using the saran wrap technique, but it happens so much faster and it's so much less controlled. It's a very natural process. Now this is a second one and I did turquoise and I did um, some gold color and you can see that pigment had started to separate and settle and so I got some really neat texture in just with the yellow pigment that had gone in. It was a yellow ochre and that frosting that happened around that blue pigment. So as you look at the next one I'm going to tell you what's happening. The pigment is floating in water. As the water freezes, that pigment freezes and settles to the paper. It's fabulous. Isn't it fun? And because I'm doing it in acrylic, I can do anything I want over this and that texture is not going to be lost. You can do these with watercolor, but you need to be careful with them or seal them afterwards so that you don't lose that frosted texture. Go make some frosted paper, guys, and show me what you got. Talk to you later. Bye.